Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kazurik. I'm your host, Mr. Baratia Commune Lover, in which right now we have the Insulindian Volunteers Return Home. The volunteers we sent to the Insulindian Revolt have returned. Now the peace has been restored in the Insulindian Archipelago. They bring back some experience in fighting hard terrain back with them. Welcome back, and we did win, which is great. We're preparing the western border. Now we look west towards the Prince of Federation. We must prepare our northern border for the war of attrition surely to come. And we'll prepare the northern border. We'll look now look north towards the Dominion. We must prepare our northern border for the war of attrition surely to come. Just because I didn't know in 38, you can actually go to war with both these guys. And actually, if you do that and win, you get very you become very, 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 very strong. We're not quite there yet. I don't think I don't I don't really want to push us too far and go to war. And I do like sending volunteers to other other nations as well. Which is really nice. Especially if we get America here to help out. That's actually pretty good. So they're doing that over there, and we still are in Spain. In which, it looks like we're losing a little bit. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's not good. But, you never know. Actually, can I see any more volunteers? And we've got some comms to go through as well. Yes, yes, yes we can. Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. that's good. Now we might actually be able to do something if we send you two volunteers. Uh, how's the plane situation here? We have no planes. Okay. For the western border. For the northern border. We could take Hydera Bat or we could Socius of the West Unite. Oh, what is this one? Simply attacking the West may not be enough. It may be risky, but we could also contact socialist elements within the Princely Federation and get them to rise up even as we attack. It would raise the possibility of Princely forces being harassed behind their own lines. There is, however, the chance that our plans could be betrayed. And our enemy is given advance notice of our attack, or just a Kaidera bad. The Deccan states are an integral part of India. We must strike preemptively with the element of surprise. Well, we'll see. I mostly just wanted to get all the extra army XP before we go to war. And then, yeah, that's not bad, actually. These guys are doing really quite well. Uh, they did do the deal with the devil, though, so... It's where the Reds versus everybody else at this point. Alright, nice job. Can you actually get there first, though? Probably not. Oh, they're going over river as well? Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, so let's just have the North Unite. This reads basically like this exact same one. Take Delhi. Uh, it's not bad, too. It is 1938. We probably want to grab something like that, which wouldn't be bad. Disperse industry is nice. Grab some advanced machine tools as well. Thank you, thank you. Get even more output. Not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. So when we go to war, does that mean we have to go to war with both groups or just one of the groups? Uh, because I've never done this before, I want to say we're going to go only with one. And I probably want to go to war with the Princely Federation first. But that exposes us quite a bit. So I'm not going to send one army down here first, maybe. These guys aren't super great. How much artillery do we actually have? 150 is not a lot. You know what? We could try. We could try to take Hyderabad. We did want to do this peacefully, but... Oh, well. Mm. Into United, we definitely want that one. Uh, we can focus on defense first, though. Uh, we do this worst part. I think, have I read this one before? I, th I don't know if I have. One of the principles of freedom of strength, even with the Garens in charge of the commune, there are yet forces who only see enemies and will not hesitate to strike should they get the chance. The Garens will call the people to resist, support the government and its efforts with all the strength, to, and to rest assured that the Mahatma will guide them on the path to peace and freedom. So we'll just divide it up like that. That's fine. Ooh, we got going to have supply issues here, aren't we? Oh, that's going to suck. There you go, do that. Uh, finish up at least one more first. <clears throat> it's fine, people killing each other, it's pretty normal. Our finest hour, if you want to about that, please go right ahead. Let's get the factory done first. Come on, come on. Nice. There you go. I'll get the supply depot done first, too. That's why we're going to need logistic companies. The exact reason why. Actually, do we have enough for logistics? Rifle Division 2s. We have enough arm XP for it. Well, that'll help out one group at least. That sucks. Because it does make it look, look weaker, so that might not be a terrible thing, actually. How are we doing over here? Holding out? So that's the case. I wonder if we could just like come up to here, maybe? 
If Spain doesn't go red, that's fine. It's whatever, but still. Nice, railway guns are nice. Better logistics would be good, but let's get some better weapons too. Oh, look at that. Now, that's exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, are they still connected, though? They might still be connected. Hmm. Alright, they're getting attacked. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go over there. Hmm. Construction 3 is good. Very good. Artillery. Get some better artillery, too. I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's go to war next. I think that'd be good. First enemy in place. Well, we came to this one, unfortunately, so. Uh, create the home guard. Sadly, peace with the Prince of Federation and the daily government will never be achieved through uh, words alone. They will not listen to that reason. Thus, it's necessary to found a new faction within the Communist Army. One that's focused on defense as well as maintaining the peace. If the traders the North and West come, they must be met with stern resistance and know that we will take our take our pound of flesh if we must. This will be good to get as well. We'll see you in just a little bit, though. Oh. Well. Take Delhi. Hmm. We've the trainer. Enemies given advance notice of attack. Well. Uh, we could try it once. Let's just go to the west. We'll try that one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Fall of Rome. There goes the Pope. Dude. Pope, dude. Dude, Pope. Still holding out, which is fine. Even, we're not even doing that much here, so the Reds are doing great until the Canadians probably attack, but still. And what do we get over here? We need more of this. We have enough guns, though, right? 1,500, eh, that's a good amount. Doesn't mean we have a lot, but it's a good amount. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm as well. Looking all right, especially since we threw in two divisions there. Ooh, everything here, not really too much. So, I want them to be like just attack us like crazy, which would be very nice. If we can actually do that. Um, can I convert you guys to this type of division? We won't have any motorized, but that's okay. I'm going to do that. Go and convert. I'm going to some serious trucks. Declare one Finland. You guys stop training as well. Go home. It's fine. You're probably going to get attacked here pretty harshly. Over here, we should be okay. Then again, we don't know how strong these enemy divisions are. It looks like they're just mostly infantry as well. We might be able to go over here too. It just depends. Maybe not. We'll see. This is going to be very bad for supply though. It's really god awful. Let's release and guard. And then what? On the right. Create the home guard, yeah. We'll probably do that one next. Red Spain. Can you help out there? You should be able to. And you guys are on the attack again. Alright, Birmingham. You might actually be able to get that one. Go there. Greek uh, logistics, maybe. Even better logistics. We'll see how we can do. Maybe it'll be really bad for us, but. You never know. Mm, support the CSA. We're kind of okay for now. We could do that one too. Construct more than three additional spy hubs. Uh, I should have this one earlier. I don't see how, how badly we lose first, though. So. Alright. Uh, socials of the West. We received word from a number of social cells in the West that, what, that they are ready to move. The best place that they can gather in any number is away from the major cities, and in the remote site in the hills of Kolapur has been selected. Let's give the rebels a chance. <clears throat> And open a second front with their enemies, but it comes with a chance that the Princely Federation might discover our plans early, and thus put us at a disadvantage. For good or ill, the moment the rebels begin to act, we will be at war. Ooh. I'm a little nervous for this one now. Oh, we didn't get it. God dang it. Ah, oh, it sucks. And they immediately start trying to fight us. Okay. Sure, guys. Oh, Madras is there, too. Look at that. Oh, Madras still exists? Huh. Well, that sucks that we didn't get it. Well, the other time, we're going to do the other way, too, so. Actually, this is a really good way to get a lot of equipment very quickly. Just let people give it to us. 
Let him attack us. Just let him attack us. It's fine. It's fine. I'm surprised we're not attacking here, though. Very surprised, actually. You know what's good? Reorganize it. Speed it up. Oh, in two weeks, that's actually really good, as long as we don't get attacked there. Uh, losses? Wow, 70,000 versus... Holy crap. No wonder they don't look that strong. Nice, so that's the case. Probably build another one. Actually, we'll need the railways, too. So as long as we getting one supply up here, uh, that's the most important thing for me. Most, most, most important thing for us, really. But you're going to be getting a lot of experience. Ajit Rudra? Rudra? Nice. Oh, wow. Thanks for ruining supply here again. <laughs> oh, my goodness, why? Uh, but after the Home Guard, reform the command, Communist Army. So the Home Guard is not enough. Their forces are already stirring while the Communist Army that worry about the Garians and continue to push the nation's towards war with the North and West, even if the Mahatma is determined that the Commune will make... will not... Kami not make the first move. They must be found and their support removed, even if it provokes the Maximus in Calcutta. Nice. Good. Good. Get some anti-air as well. Anything else over here? Extraction? We can try that. Can you actually win here? Oh, they're not doing that well now. Better arty is good. And they're still attacking, so no point to really move. Not really up. Hey, we built the supply hub. Awesome. But now we need the roads here, too. Um, We will be building the roads. If we have this ability anyways, you might as well just build one there, too. It's going to take a long time since, well, we're getting attacked anyways, which means nothing's going to get done, so that's okay. But Can we do this one? End of the, uh, the national debate. We have to be at peace for this one. Oh, crap. While there is always be conflicts within the Calcutta government, it's time to draw the constant infighting to an end. If the bar to communists unite in India, we must it must be done with all three factions in hand in hand and working towards a common goal. Uh, we could go to war with both nations at the same time, but I don't feel like that yet. Mm, Modernize the army? Why not? Indian infantrymen are num numerous and loyal. Their equipment, however, is dated and inefficient. We must rectify this. This is looking not so good right there. Two home guard units, huh? Uh, we will need them, so there you go. Our office division is looking pretty good, though. You guys are back up, sort of ish, for now. I want you guys to just kind of like garrison the area. That'll be fine. Oh yes. Break things off the deck, yes, please. Thank you. Um. Oh, because only that sucks. Oh, we can't go to war economy. We need more war support. God dang it. Okay then. Um. Probably can't get any more stability yet, can we? Oh, yeah, we can. We'll grab this one first, though. You know, get both. Get both. It hurts our ability to produce, but, like, that's fine. Can you guys actually win there? It'd be sort of impressive if you could. So we haven't killed off that many, but we'll get there. Have they pushed it here yet? No. Um, I do want to take this area, though. Can you actually do it? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, they are dug in, huh? It's not bad. 63. Nice. Well, now if you can, that'd be good. Modernize the army if you possibly can. Modernize the artillery. The Gom's artillery mostly dates from the Valkyrie. We must modernize the artillery unless we push, wish our soldiers to be eviscerated without proper support. Go there and destroy a couple divisions. That'd be nice. If possible, of course. Come and do civilian trains. We're pretty good on that stuff, anyways. Cancel. Oh, guys, but you cancel on these. Got enough guns. Support equipment is looking okay. It's actually, look, yeah, definitely looking okay. I guess I got in there. Building up the railroad still. And we almost have the nut supply hub done, too, which is awesome. After equipment two. Um, maybe recon? Oh, are we losing here now? That's not ideal, guys. Because uh, if we can't push, then we'll just like. We'll continue converting these divisions over. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do it. I keep throwing more divisions here. Gosh dang it. Oh, hello. German Empire's down there too. Well, didn't realize that. Cool. Even better guns? Yes, please. Oh, you actually got them. Look at that. Beautiful. Three divisions go bye bye. I mean, this is going to be a pain in the butt to try to push out, so I might just have. 
to weaken our line a little bit. So uh, really bait him into attacking us, probably. And Mars artillery, armor, armor, centralized. Ooh, that's not bad. Product better production cost. Hungary. Austria Hungary federalizes. And it's only 39. Drop some of this too. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll probably really try to make our divisions look really weak, and then we'll see what happens. Philippines were annexed. Wow. Good job, Japan. So that's the case. What if I just said half of you guys? Stay home. Don't come to work today. Uh, yeah, you guys stay there. You don't want to leave that completely undefended. There we go. See what happens. Um, at 42... Military, please, maybe? Minorize the army? Minorize artillery? We'll see what happens. And then we're going to do develop rocket technology. With India reunited, we must embrace the future of warfare. Rockets can not only power our aircraft, but also propel the most destructive weapons. Mobility focus. Cavalry is no longer enough. We must focus on vehicle transport and the mobility of our troops. The Bharatiya Armored Corps. Providing our troops with armored vehicles will give us a distinct edge in facing all against our enemies. Oh, they're killing them too. And expand the Bharatiya Armored Corps. We must continue to expand our Armored Corps to maintain a competitive edge against our enemies. The Falonstera offers assistance. As part of the Falonstera International Program, our comrades in Paris and London have just offered us much needed help. Industrial machines, mining equipment, weapons, ammo, and more. <clears throat> All this will be unloaded in our ports and airports and transport across the country, assuming that we desire it. Ooh, we don't want their help. Oh... Yes, please. And here we are, everyone. 1940, April 17th. I've done a few more focuses, such as centralize the army's supply. Supplying our ground troops must come from many different industries. We must combine an organism to maximize their efficiency and ensure the army is given the greatest advantage. I've done a step to air branch. Nothing remains of the meager air force the common wheel during the Valkyrie. We must rebuild it from scratch, and this begins with the establishment of a new air command. Now, I was thinking about doing this one, and which I guess we can't cancel it, but the states of the north are an integral part of India. We must strike preemptively with the element of surprise. Because at this point, Hyderabad is still not dead, but... I think we could probably do really well. But I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do rule the ground, rule the air, or rule the seas. And overall, the time it's recording, there's more support for... Rule the ground. Our primary focus is on the army, yes. This may come at the expense of our navy and air capabilities, but the commune must recognize. Where strength lies is to maximize its effectiveness. Also, I converted all of our divisions to the template 2, which is not quite done yet being finished. It's still only 18 combos, but we do have engineers, we do have logistic companies, which is also very, very, very good. Um, all these divisions are exactly that as well. We're completely out of support equipment now. But since everyone else was given equipment, I figured it'd be okay. So, uh, ooh, this, ooh, yes, please, Max Planner, yes, yes. Logistic companies are so good. I just want to be able to finish it, this group off very quickly. These guys are at war. I mean, going to war with these guys is probably going to be a really big challenge and probably really stupid of us to do immediately. But, you know, I guess we'll see what happens. Which is fine, whatever. Um, let's see, anything else? No, not too much. You guys are doing definitely, relatively okay-ish. Here are the casualties. We've lost 67, 69,000, basically. Nice. We cut off 175,000, which is pretty good overall, I'd say. As we're slowly pushing into them. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Maybe I should have waited to do another focus first before we go to war with these guys, but we'll see. Um, but, oh well, it is what it is. I just want to start defending against these guys and hopefully holding out against them, so. Um, this guy's pretty good, though. So we'll see. Very good. This guy should die. And then, oh, oh, you want to give us stuff? Yes, yes. Australian Guard, yes. Are oh, they doing third international? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, they're doing force defense too, huh? Oh, Austria intervenes, which is fine. Whatever. Look at that. That's uh, that's kind of kind of scary for them. We're doing really well against these guys. So basically, we'll be in two front war. I think we have enough support. Well, maybe not. Maybe not infantry equipment, but anti airs looking okay. Oh, we did just get there too. Big Delhi. Went to war with them. Maybe that's not a good idea, but whatever. I'm not going to attack them. I'm just going to hold out here first. And now we're at war with the entire Entente, which I hate, but whatever. You guys stop training. I'm going to go too. I, we're just going to hold. That's all I want. Hold the line. If at all possible, that's all I care about. And take these guys out. So we can take all the rest of the territory down there. And if they start attacking us, well, that's not going to be very good for us, now, is it? Um... 46 divisions. Oh, that's a, they have a lot of divisions, potentially. And we're only 24 divisions on that entire front, which kind of sucks, but we'll see. Better already? Yes, please. Ooh. That sucks. Cancel the Lendlease. That sucks. That sucks as well. Also, Spain did win their civil war, so... They actually became the Iberian Federation, which is not bad. Oh, wow. Germany's losing pretty harshly already. Holy crap. And the Reds are still winning. Still winning. How do we roll the ground, though? Probably the Katak Air Academy. 
The first step in rebuilding your Air Force is the creation of an Air Academy, one which can train future airmen for the battles to come. Very nice. Good, good, good. Keep it up. Actually, just help support the attack there. Go here, too. You'll be fine. Hey. Even though this is costing us a lot, I mean, it's helping us get our doctrines done, which is the most important thing, in my opinion. Hey, we actually encircled them. Wow. That's awesome. You guys can hold. Go down there. Oh, God. You're actually taking through there. That's not good. Uh, I'm not, I don't think anyone's going to be really too concerned about that. Uh, on, I'll, honestly, let's reform the line just a little bit. Because their southern portion is looking extraordinarily bad. So, reform down here. I want you guys to you guys attack here. And you keep going this way. Honestly, I, I do want to take out Madras. So, I'll probably ca cancel on a Christian pack, maybe. Can I actually just fight? Ooh, five days, that's not bad. Yeah, that's fine. Bangalore would be good. I'm actually going to throw you guys on here, just in case. I just do not trust these guys at all. I just want divisions up here. And these guys are going to Nadalian Bay, which is why we have the divisions already set up. Which hopefully we'll do okay. Um, you guys hold. It's fine. Nice. Improved computer machine. Nice. Very good, very good. Some radar as well. Dross. Sorry, but no. Give every guy some more time for max planning. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Oh. Uh, keep building yourselves up. I think that'd be pretty good. Of course, you want to build the roads here too, but we'll get there. Um, always more millies. Get always more millies. Some. Actually. Did build a radar station over there, which doesn't really help us out that much, honestly. Um, uh, Bihar, maybe? Go over here, cut these guys off. That'd be nice. Can we actually do that, maybe? Maybe not. What the are you doing? Oh, now they're going to kill each other, too. Come on, stop it. Uh, that's sad. Okay, well, whatever. You guys will do fine against these guys. I'm not too worried about that. So they'll be joining the Moscow Accord, which is fine. Oh, and now they're starting to attack us like crazy. Not ideal. That's why I keep throwing more divisions in here. Hold on, let's see how much is over there, too. So all for armor XP, though. We're going to make Moscow Accord, which is fine. Oh, we're losing over here, which is whatever. Well, the ground, that'll be good for supply. Ooh, land doctrine costs, supply consumption, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Off tree is fine, too. I'm going to head over there real quick. It's fine. Hmm. Once these guys' divisions move, I'm going to attack here, too. Ooh, naval stuff, nice. Interdiction. Don't worry about attacking. Do not worry about attacking. Just hold the line. That's all I care about. All right. Then move, 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 move. Let me go in. Can you actually do that too? Yes. Yes. No. Maybe so. Grab that as well. Attacking here would be good. Bangalore would be actually very nice to get as well. They move, we attack there, they'll collapse of the Union. Nice. Ooh, not ideal. Right there. Not ideal up here as well. Right there. And this can still kill each other off too, so it's not like we're completely done yet. They're, they're forcing the attack. That's pretty... Mm. Pretty questionable in my opinion, but whatever. Good force, de force defense, but we'll see. Head on down through here. You know what? We can force defense. Force it. It's fine with me. Um, I definitely want to attack there. Definitely attack here. Definitely attack here. Let's see. Why are they weakening themselves right here? That's just fine. Do that instead. One thing we're missing is support equipment. That's literally it. One side airbats gone though. That'll be good. Oh, they actually had the Rocky Mountain Oh yeah. Wait, did we reject them? Hope we didn't. Oh, they called in. The oh, come on. There's the bros. That's annoying. You should be able to win there. Should is a keyword. 
three divisions there, one division there, one division here. We'll see. So overall, not bad. I mean, in all honesty, I'm probably gonna actually. You know what? Take you out. Just do that. I'll go. I can do that. There you go. Share the wealth. And there's someone there. Oh, that's fine. Spread yourselves out. That's better. Now we have an actual front line. A full front line. We've got rocket technology. You know, to the Kodak Air Base. Next. Um, yeah, I'll also try to attack here. It's fine. What are the losses like so far? We've lost 100,000 men. We've killed off 59,000 other Indians, though. Even though we lost how many to them? Um, not many guys. That's not good. Oh, crap, that's not good, too. Well, that's why we stacked quite a few divisions here, so. These guys actually are, like, our, our normal division template, so. Not super worried about that one. But I mean, we gotta keep crushing forward. Crushing and crashing. Let's go there, that'll be fine. Um, that'd be really nice to take Madras. Mm, I don't think it would be that successful there. We still need to save up our supplies too, so. Puna? Yeah, you know what? Let them give it to packing us, it's fine. We just need more support equipment, which is at the bottom. We need a little bit of aluminum. We need all stuff like that. Artillery is fine. Um, over here, logistic companies. Eh, not bad. Armored support. Get some better cast, I guess. Got an airbase. Nice. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. It's fine. It's definitely a bigger war than um, what I initially envisioned, but it's pretty much exactly what I thought we, what would happen. Two divisions. They're going. No matter what we got, to keep taking tiles. You'll do well there. Not to worry about that. Bangalore. No tech there next. Once we go over here and take out Mangalore, we should be okay. Should be alright. Take the stronger one. Head up north. It's fine. You'll be fine. Fighter the Kutik Air Base. Fighter focus. Let's go with fighter focus. We should build, focus on building fighters. Keep the air clear of enemies. Which is a good idea. Ooh. What's happening up here? Take you guys too. Should be fine. Head over here too. You're fine over there. Goa. Oh, are they trying to naval invade? Oh boy. Oh, Bison. Okay, well, that's cool. Good job, Bison. Go do whatever you want. Could use the war economy as well. Ship designer. Oh, you might as well. Nice. nice. And even better supply consumption and more daily, daily command power gain. I love it. Um, join him. No, oh, no, join him. There you go. Good stuff. Oh, they actually naval invaded down there. Yeah, good job, guys. Yeah, good job. I definitely want to attack here, but our guys are looking so weak. We could try this one. It's looking pretty bad, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Let's get, let's get some more supplies. Get help those guys as well. Of course, they have no air, air superiority as well, but whatever. I'll fight right there, too. Yeah, it's pretty unfair that you have to fight all the Dominion of India. I mean, each side, if, that, if you want like something like that, you definitely should have something else that allows you... Oh, honestly, you know what? You don't need to attack there. Just relax. Don't attack there. Like, everyone should get some support then. Like, of course, India is going to get, like, a rework eventually, but, like... All of you, yeah, that's good. Oh, there you go. Nice. Then we should be able to join a faction. Then maybe these guys would be potentially able to join a faction. Something like that, just because... It's, it's kind of unfair that Dominion of India gets that. It makes sense. Don't get me wrong. But... I'm looking. I'm definitely looking forward to the India rework. Wow, they're actually forcing the attack. That is insane. Got plenty of guns though. Need more arty. I mean, army XP should just be skyrocketing with all the attacks they're doing. What? We'll see. Yeah, with well, them forcing the attack is actually really nice. And we did get some of uh, these guys too. So we got Dalta, or Data, Soman, as well as Prasad. Nice. Keep doing this because it gives it more uh, ability to see everyone else. 
Um, you know what? Let's get some shipyards next. Establish naval command. Not a single ship remained under our command after the Civil War, and the seas are coast wide open to assault. We must establish new naval command. Do whatever we can to guard ourselves against attack by sea. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Um, go with that one, anyways. It's fine. Do we have an anti air? Can we throw anti air on our, some of these guys? Oh, these guys have nothing. Oh, that sucks. We won't have enough, but do it anyways. Anti air is super, super helpful. Like, super, mega, ultra helpful. Oh, I see what they're doing over there. Well, use cast, which is fine. Yeah, get your, both your booties in there. Keep up and defend. Definitely put ourselves in a difficult situation, but that's alright. I'd love to attack there, but I don't want a bigger front. I don't want a two-front war. But then again, I did give us a, quite a literal two-front war, but whatever. Uh, we're going to need a lot of anti-air. We need a lot of stuff now. I'll do that too. Get that radar done, and they'll start building up uh, another military factory. Thank you, thank you, yes. Yes, good. Um, well, Manipur. Yeah, do both these areas. More millies. At this point, we might just go to war with Madras as well. It's fine, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I mean, just at this point, we're just going to be kind of hanging out. Um, taking in more supplies. We got enough motorized now, which is nice. Need way more already. I mean, they're just going to be attacking like crazy forever, so let's just get more focuses. Um, the Calcutta shipyards? The uh, shipping facilities in Calcutta are still out of date. They must be updated and expanded, ready to build a new Bharatiya fleet. Sub focus. Subs are an excellent way to disrupt enemy convoys. We should construct as many as possible. Destroyer focus. Destroyers are effective at destroying enemy subs. We should ensure our shipping is safe by constructing as many of these as possible. Fighter focus. We should build, focus building on fighters to keep, keep the air clear of enemies. Bomber focus. We should focus on building bombers to destroy enemies from above. Cast focus. Close air support allows us to strafe enemy units during battles which fright with frightening accuracy, giving us a large edge on our opponents. Establish the Red Lions Air Corps. A proposal from one of our retired air marshals has provided the opportunity to establish a force of paratroopers. It will be an expensive endeavor, but what better way to surprise our foes than by dropping behind their lines? And to ask you guys yesterday whether we should protect the Communist Coast, or we should do establish a to Marines. And overall, there's more support for, at the time of this recording, for... Protect the Communist Coasts. Our focus must be defending on our vital ports. And to that end, we must erect our fortresses on the coast to ensure that they can be protected from seaborne attack. And here we are at everybody. We've just taken out Madras as well as Hyderabad, and we're doing okay. Um, I wish I kind of showed you the cow street before then, but... Oh, well, uh, what we really had to do was take out Mysore. We took out Bangalore, Mysore, and Mangalore, and Hyderabad, and then they capitulated, which is really, really nice. So now we're trying to assault into the other Indian warlord here. And actually, this look like... The Entente really has troops. Well, they got some PSA troops, but other than that, hopefully we do really, really well against these guys. We've lost 36,000 to them already. Casualties are only going to increase, but protecting the Communist Coast. Followed up with, expand the Calcutta shipyards. A concerted effort must be made to expand the Calcutta shipyards once again. Our shipping building efforts are our only hopes of strength on the high seas, which would be really, really great. Hopefully we can do really, really well here too, so. And it's, it's always helpful when other people give you a lot of material too. And we can rule the ground, which is so nice. Um... Yeah, there's another comment saying, will I play this campaign again and actually go with a syndicalist or totalist route? Eventually, yeah. Probably someday. Not sure when. It's going to take probably quite a while before we actually do that, but someday, yes. I promise you that. Insulindia? Oh, well. So much for the freedom. Republic of Burma. Oh. Okay, well, they're killing each other. Kaiser Bill II is dead. Uh, how's Europe looking? Holy crap, Austria is dead. Uh, I think Germany went to war with Poland as well, so... Holy... Oh... Yeah, the Reich's Pact is not looking good. Yeah, they're about to die here. Oh, hello. Who's this? On top. And how are you doing over here? Wait. Oh, there goes the Reich's Pact. Ooh. Apologies about that. What? What? Why do you own Idaho? The, wh how, why? How? Um, I, mean, I want to give this to the PSA, but that, that means I had to exchange another state with them. And that wouldn't make any sense. So, oh, they're fighting Mexico, too. Um, Serbia forms Yugoslavia. That's pretty good for them. And there goes the German Empire. All right. Well, uh, Jack Reed is still here. Red Guard militias. Come in, France. Do be looking kind of thick right now. Oh, United States of Yugoslavia. That's pretty cool. They're social liberals. Italy did really well in this war, and they're killing off Zurich as well. Oh, oh, whoa! Franz Jakob, North German Union. Of course, they like dividing this up. This is actually a little different than what I'm used to. Usually, they don't divide Germany up like this, which is actually kind of cool. Are we going to have a South German Union? Yep. 
South German Union, North German Union, Rhenish Socialist Republic. Did they just literally just annex all of Belgium? They might have. How about Hungary or Czechoslovakia? Oh! Oh, look at that! They actually released a syndicalist. Danubian Republic of Councils. Alright. That's actually really awesome. I like that idea a lot. This is actually looking not terrible, but not great. And how are we doing over here? We're actually losing a little bit. I should actually pay attention to our own wars. Um, overall, not terrible, though. Not too bad. Losses. Um, 55,000 versus... Not bad overall. Before we keep going on, uh, Ganja Singe is not doing great. Vilnius has gone... They have a million manpower. I mean, we have literally the same amount, but whatever. They have up to 160 divisions. They got most light infantry and cavalry. <coughs> also, to take out Madras, they had, a, they, they had like 35 divisions and literally just Madras. So, what I did was just force attack until they ran out of organization. They just all died that way. So, makes it easy that way. Um, up After that, we can't do that one. I, would, I did read these two off screen as well. So, if you want to read these again, please go ahead. There you go. My bad. Force attack. I mean, force defense. I mean, it's not bad, but still. Um, other than that, improve working conditions. Oh, and we're also doing restore order in Visa Gapatana. Now that the V word is under Bharatiya control, we must make efforts to put down any lingering resistance and integrate into the rest of the Bharatiya commune. Same thing with Hyderabad as well. So, when selected, we lose stability, they get more resistance, and then we basically get it. So, when they're done. And actually, with these ones, you get more political power and stability when they get, get it done as well. So, that'll be good to get it all cored. That makes us very strong. You guys, nothing really here, which is fine. Um, and if our, they took out Iran. Nice. This actually looks really nice. This is not bad. Oh! Oh my goodness, they actually gave this. It's not even cord, but they gave this territory to the Danubian Republic of Councils. I love that so much. Usually the AI never does something like that, but that's so good. This is disgusting to look at, though. Oh, you don't even have this cord. Radica? Or Dalmatia? Oh, my goodness. Kotor? Oh, silly line? Oh, sure, that's fine. I love this. This is, this, this, this is definitely better than what it used to be. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually really impressed. Uh, get some more fuel because you can. Advanced subs. We'll start making those really quickly. Which would be awesome. Um, three, three, please. There goes a Swiss state. Three, 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 three. Thank you very much. Make some convoys because we're going to need more convoys probably. Depending what we do. Um, there was a comment saying that. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. But having common looking pretty good. I like how this is turning out. This is really nice. That's really sad for the Reich's Pact. Oh, well. Oh, wow. Yeah. World War Three. But, um, someone did ask, like, if we're playing against Gandhi, we have to get nukes. Which I don't disagree with. Like, I think we'll probably have to try to get nukes eventually, so. Uh, yeah, nice. Good stuff. Oh, and we're done with the land auction. Yay, recon gets more recon. Actually, what is our equipment like? Uh, we don't have any of this. We don't have any of that. We've got enough guns and artillery. And I'm pretty sure we wouldn't, would not have enough for this. Yeah, we have... We would have 700 left. We would use 2,000 just for that much, which is not good. 13% um, infantry defense. You guys are cavalry guys, so we'll go with ambusher. That's fine. Sure, guys, that's fine. I mean, it's getting more and more difficult to do here, but the passing of Rabin Darandath Tagore, a staunch friend of Gandhi, and quite possibly the greatest scholar poet India has ever seen in the past couple hundred years, passed away that last, late last night, surrounded by his grieving family. His place among the Garans has been taken by the eminent peasant leader. Panjabal Brawl Deshmukh. He is now where the mind has no fear. Nice. Cast focus, yes, please. Yeah, I think these guys re. Oh. Oh, we almost got encircled there. Thank you for the support, equipment, sir. I do appreciate that quite a bit. Yeah, I don't think these guys can handle stops anymore. After this, we probably go to war with Nepal. Probably Nepal, uh, Bhutan, maybe even Afghanistan, which sounds terrible to fight through. Maybe we can open up a second front against the Russian state. Oh, Transmir is here too. The Gopra Spirit Sphere is looking not too bad. After capturing all this territory, it's not bad. Yeah, we're doing really well. Iron Guard achieves total control. This is looking a bit ugly up here, but whatever. Nikolai the First, huh? Well, that's not bad, man. Um, honestly, I'll probably core this territory if it's not core for them already. Because this territory should be cored. It really should be core for them, so. But yeah. We almost have Delhi as well. Awesome. Well, Delhi. Oh, these guys are in Sakura and Agra. Very nice. I think we've done really, well, really, really well here. Awesome, 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 awesome possums. 
Might as well use that. Oh, end of chance. Chapter's doing really well. I'm doing real well. Yeah, uh, these guys are just mostly just infantry, right? Because, uh, yeah. Because on our guys, we put. Do we put recon? What do they have on these guys? Um, they have anti air engineers, logistic companies, artillery, victory in the north. We've driven the perfidious British lapdogs on the continent. The town is going to win the peace for all of India by sending an envoy to Delhi's masters and demanding they end the war against us and leave our people to leave. Sure. Oh, look at that. Nice. Awesome. So, is it just us versus India? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to invade Australia. Are you kidding me? Berar? Why not? Ooh, actually, let's get this one done first, because we can always do this one, but I want more war, war propaganda first. Because we could really use it for war support. Because it's not the end of the campaign. Probably move in Afghanistan, probably take out Russia with the Third International. But this is... this. These borders... Are, I mean, not, don't get me wrong. They're not great. But this is so much better than what it used to be. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're going to war with... Oh. Okay. So much better than what it used to be. Oh, my goodness. I can't explain how excited I am. How happy I am to see, actually, something not looking completely god-awful and ugly. But we killed off a lot of our own divisions trying to take out Madras. Oh, my goodness. That was so bad. Um, let me get some more stuff there, too. That's good. And there goes India. Thank you, India. Thank you, thank you, the rest of India. Nice. We actually won. Look at that. Cancel oh, the cancel only. That sucks. So, the fall of Constantinople will end, we'll do the end of the national debate, which would be good to do. And then we'll do India United. Jai Hind. The subcontinent is once again ours. Now what? That's a good question. Now what? And call a meeting of the INC with India United. The first order of business will be to gather a special session of the Indian National Congress to determine how we'll approach the governance of the nation as a whole. With this comes a new election for the head of state. It'll be an important day and one that determines what the future direction of United India will look like. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and tomorrow we will begin getting another research shot, hopefully integrating all sorts of different places, fully making sure that we have everything here that we definitely, definitely need, and pushing forward and hopefully nuking at least one enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.